Good morning, Golf High. Today's Wednesday, February 12th, 2020. I'm Larry Wood. And I'm Catherine Chinelli, coming to you from WBC Studios with today's school news. The word of the day today is anthology, meaning a collection of literary pieces. Could you use that in a sentence, Catherine? I sure can, Larry. This anthology contains all of Shakespeare's sonnets, but none of his plays. For lunch today, we'll be having PB&J, Supreme Pizza, and a salad bar. And now for today's weather forecast. <coughs> Good morning, Golf High. Today's going to be a high of 82 and a low of 68. Have a great day, Bucks. Today in history. In 1909, the NAACP is founded. And in 1809, Abraham Lincoln is born. And that's today's history. Here's some news bucks. GHS yearbook staff is selling 2019 yearbooks for $35 and the 2018 yearbook for $20. Or you can bundle both of these and this year's yearbook for $115 and you'll save $10. The boys weightlifting team is hosting a competition to earn $1,000 for our team to help contribute towards new weights and apparel for our team. Please go to the link below and like our comment from Hirsch. The link is in the description. Happy birthday to Gucci Mane. And happy birthday to Bill Russell. And now for the joke of the day. Why did the old man fall into the well? He couldn't see that well. That's all for our news. Have, Have a, a great, great National, National Abe Lincoln, Lincoln Day, Golf High. Born February 12th, 1809, Lincoln began his political career in 1832 at the age of 23. Judge Stephen A. Douglas and Mr. Abraham Lincoln. But it was his debates with Stephen Douglas 26 years later that brought him to national prominence and reframed America's arguments about slavery. Lincoln became the 16th president of the United States just three years later. Lincoln often quoted the Bible in his speeches. In his House Divided speech during his campaign against Stephen Douglas, Lincoln quoted from Mark 3.25. We are now far into the fifth year with the avowed object of putting an end to slavery agitation. That agitation has not only not ceased, but has constantly augmented. It will not cease until a crisis shall have been reached and passed. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Brought to you by Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C.